Amber and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my essential school supplies. Someone suggested this idea to me. That's why I'm doing it. If you guys want to see the usual things that I bring to school, then keep on watching. I actually don't bring a lot of things to school. And lagi kasi ako nagpapalit ng bag. And yung bags na ginagamit ko, depende siya sa kung gaano kadami yung dadalhin ko. Obviously, but here are the usual bags that I use. So, no first sem, nung start ng first sem, most of the time, ito talagang anelo yung gamit ko. Especially if my books. And then, this tote bag. So, this is actually the bag that I use most of the time. Because kahit parang liit lang niya, marami akong nalalagay pag ito yung gamit kong bag. And actually, kasha dito yung most ng books ko each sem. It's easy for me to get the things that I need. Pag ito yung gamit ko. Kasi yung anelo, ang hirap niyang buksan sa rock up. Especially if papasok ng gate. So, di ko siya masyado nagagamit talaga. But if minor subjects kasi, I usually use small bags lang. Since parang wala naman talaga akong masyadong kailangan dalhin. So, these are the bags that I use most of the time kapag wala akong kailangan dalhin. So, nung second sem, the bag that I use all the time is this one. And sometimes ito, or if wala nga talaga akong dala yung small bags lang. So, ayun, madalas talaga akong magpalit ng bag. I don't know why. Okay, so, of course, yung pinaka-essential talaga ay yung books. So, these are my books from the first and second semester of my first year. Useful din tong organizer na to because nung nasa dorm pa ako, dito nakalagay yung mga books ko na gagamitin ko the next day and then yung iba kong papers na nakakalat lang. So aside from books, ang pinaka-essential din talaga for me is yellow pad. Hindi ako mabubuhay ng walang yellow pad. Actually, wala sa ating mabubuhay ng walang yellow pad. Kasi ito talaga yung usual na ginagamit. Especially since college na tayo. Pag may pinapagawa yung profs, yellow pad. Kapag may pinapasagutan, yellow pad. Another reason why this is really important for me because I don't really use notebooks that much. And I only use yellow pad to take my notes. Especially since sa class, kapag mabilis magturo yung prof, hindi ako maganda magsulat. So, I usually write my notes first sa yellow pad and then I rewrite it either sa yellow pad ulit or sa ibang notebook. Pero the past year, bihira talaga ako gumamit ng notebook. At next sem, I really want to start using notebooks again. Pero yung binder lang. Para mas madaling i-manage. I actually have this notebook, this Muji binder. And ito dapat yung gagamitin ko the past year. But parang mga ilang times ko lang talaga siya nagamit. Because di nga talaga ako nag-notebook or nagdadala ng notebook. Pero since... Next sem nga, gusto ko na mag-start ulit gumamit ng notebook para madali kong matrack and makip yung mga notes ko. Since sa yellow pad, sobrang gulo talaga and nawawala ko rin yung iba kahit after I rewrite them na. So, yeah, this is my Muji notebook. Pero ganun pa rin talaga plano ko. Yellow pad muna and then saka ko rewrite. And then I have those yellow pad na nakakot na kasi sobrang less hassle if meron na kayo nito because nakakat na siya to one half and one fourth. And ito din yung madalas na hinihingi din ng profs aside from the one hole. So instead na magkakat pa kayo, meron na kayo agad. Especially yung one fourth. Madaming profs na naghihingi ng one fourth. Another essential thing is my laptop. Because dito ko ginagawa yung mga papers and all that ko. And yeah, important to sa akin because Nandito din lahat ng documents ko, aside from yung mga nandun sa OneDrive. Pero most naman kasi ng important, nililipat ko talaga sa Drive para ma-access ko even if hindi ko dala yung laptop ko. So, yeah! My next essential thing is my planner. So, hindi siya masyadong puno ngayon because nag-quarantine na, pero ito siya nung may pasok pa. So, sa planner ko, may kinikip ako ditong mga index card in case kailanganin ko siya sa class. So, merong overview monthly. 
then yung mga ano na sorry magulo <laughs> yeah but that's it for my planner and helpful to for me kasi as much as possible gusto ko maging organized especially pag minamanage ko yung time ko although sometimes mahirap din and di ko rin talaga nasusunod sometimes yung mga inaalat ko na time pero pag ganun kasi may overview na ako ng mga dapat kong gawin so that's why important sa akin tong planner ko next is my pencil case this is from filed and actually yun naman ng pencil case ko ngayon ito din yung mga essentials na talaga and kulang pa nga actually kasi yung iba hindi ko na nalagay dito and yung favorite pen ko Wala na siyang tinta, pero yung Dong A. Migel siya na pen. And mas maganda sulat ko dun. So, yun talaga yung favorite ko. May ilig ako sa gel pens. And then, yung G-Tech ko, hindi ko alam kung nasan ngayon. <laughs> Ito yung current na laman ng pencil case ko. So, another thing na essential for me, highlighters. Highlighters talaga. Ang dami kong highlighters, pero wala siya dito ngayon. And usually, I use the Stabilo Pastel Highlighters. But recently, I tried using these Pilot Fiction na highlighters. So, na erase siya. That's why I wanted to try it. And I also have one mild liner. And yung iba kong Stabilo nasa baba. And ang dami ko na ring naubos na tinta kasi sobrang essential talaga ng highlighter. And then, I have some colored pens for my notes and then itong cute pen ko na my name actually usually madami akong pens but lahat sila naubos na yung tinta because hindi ko na napalitan because of quarantine then I have this pink pen from Japan and then Mayroon akong calligraphy brush, pero never ko pa siyang nagamit. And, pamalit sa old pen ko, na hindi ko alam kung nasan ngayon. Sobrang burara ako sometimes. And, I have my correction tape and friction na three colors. So, that's it for my pencil case. And, maganda kasi tong pencil case na to, because... When I'm studying, pwede ko lang siyang ipatong doon. And all my pens are easy to reach and easy to use. I think nakalimutan ko sabihin, pero may pencil din ako dito. And then next, sticky notes. Nung start ng year, sobrang dami kong sticky notes. Mga six siya na blocks na ganito. And paubos na siya. Because I usually put kung ano yung mga kailangan kong gawin dito. Usually dito ko nilalagay yung mga deadlines and the things that I really need to do already. That's why ang dami ko talagang nagagamit na sticky notes. And usually nilalagay ko din kasi siya sa notes ko or sa books. So, yeah, it's also important to me. Another essential thing that I bring to school, ID ko of course. <laughs> ang pangit. Suotin ko nga. So, next na dala ko, calculator. Because may mga subjects na kailangan ng calcul. Like, chem. Yung inorganic chem. And then, anak chem. So, ginamit namin yung calcul doon. Pero, dinadala ko lang to if gagamitin talaga namin. And next na, I usually bring kapag may anak fee colored pencils kasi usually pinapadraw kami ng mga specimen nung first sem for anafi. Lula ako meron na mag-drawing. <laughs> and usually actually homework pala yun. So di ko rin siya nadadala pero essential din siya because magagamit nyo. Another essential school supply for me <laughs> scantron sheets, bubble sheets, or whatever you guys call this. So we use this kapag may Shifting, midterms, finals. And lang dami kong stock because nag-quarantine nga. Eh, usually madami na kami binibili for the whole sem na para isahang bili na lang. 
essential to for shifting midterms finals. So another useful thing that I use when I study book stand. Kasi easier mag-aral ng books kapag may book stand. Add ko lang din, if you're someone na gusto yung alam mo kung nasan yung parts ng box mo, yung mga flag na sticky notes like this, gusto ko rin siya because natatrack ko kung ano yung chapters na yun para madali mapunta sa page na yun. So, that's basically it for my school supplies because as I've said earlier nga, I don't really bring or use that much things. I only use nga yung mga sinabi ko, which are the ones na essential for me. So, I don't know if ko ano pang gusto nyong dalhin or gamitin, but if you think na essential yun for you, since magkakaiba naman tayong lahat, then go for it, buy it. If tingin mo na magiging useful talaga for you yun, 